this little leopard is breastfeeding in its mother's arms, unexpectedly, its mother turned out to be a dog, what's going on here? The world in the eyes of animals is often very simple, they treat their animals with all their love, whether the other party is the same species as themselves. This cute little leopard looks unremarkable, but in fact, it belongs to a critically endangered species, Armor Leopard. Now, there are only 19 to 26 Armor Leopards, live in the wild in the Russian Far East, and the reason why this rare little leopard left its mother, and raised by a dog, it's because her mother's mood suddenly became very strange after giving birth, often be irritable, sometimes even did harm to their own children. The veterinarian says, the mother leopard has hurt three of her children, we can't be sure why this is happening, but we still choose not to take the risky decision, for the protection of the cubs. Zookeeper had to remove a newborn baby, separated from Grumpy Mon, and put the baby in the care of a hound named Tessa. Tessa is already a mother of four dogs, so it quickly accepted this peculiar looking dog, take care of baby leopards like its own children. It will also caress and breastfeed it, while Tessa took good care of the little leopard. The breeder is not idle either, working together with a dog to raise this armor leopard cub. They supplemented with glucose and other essential nutrients. Three weeks later, the baby leopard has doubled in weight and length, and has begun to reveal the nature of carnivores, a tried rabbit meat, because the little leopard grows very fast. Its body size soon surpassed his brother and sister, to make it happier. Breeders start looking for some companions for it, to play with it, they found two other growing cubs, a little lion, and a little tiger, although these three little guys look like big cats, but their personalities are quite different, the little tiger is very quiet, while the little lion is naughty and active, at the same time, the breeder also found an Alibé sheepdog, as a home dog for three big cats, it's strong and docile, enough for these naughty miniature cats, now, these little guys of completely different species live happily together, forge wonderful cross-species friendships, animals across species can have friendships and even affection, these two lion cubs are like the leopard, have a dog mom, their mother is a German shepherd, the dog's name is Sandra, it has its own children, now become the mother of two lion cubs, to take better care of the lion cubs, Sandra also deliberately moved to the park where the cubs are located, according to the staff, after the white lioness gave birth to two cubs, for some reason, it abandoned its child, fortunately, Sandra quickly accepts, two abandoned lion cubs, this makes the park staff very happy, the staff said that, sheepdog's milk is best for lion cubs, because it contains most of the elements needed for a lion cub to grow, and the shepherd also loves the two little lions, treat them as its own baby, patiently accompany them to grow, a dog is walking slowly towards the cheetah, without any hesitation, the cheetah did not show aggression, what the hell is going on now, what is the story between the two of them, when it comes to cheetahs, everyone will think of that, they look fierce and sturdy in the wild and fast running speed, but the cheetah here is very close to humans, it doesn't show its sharp claws and fangs easily, even if other small animals actively approaching, it will still maintain a good temper, except for the breeder, it also has a dog friend, their wonderful friendship started from many years ago, when the cheetah was just born, because its body is too weak it was abandoned by mother in the wild, fortunately, the residents of the neighborhood found the weak cheetah, coming time and sent it to the local zoo, this saved the life of the little cheetah, after coming to the zoo, the little cheetah immediately became a mascot, the breeders all love it, for this petite and cute little cheetah, everyone focused on its growth and poured all the heart, they set aside an entire room for this purpose as a place, to live and play for this little cheetah and dressed up here clean and bright, let the little cheetah can live here and have fun. 
However, after living a comfortable and stable life, the little cheetah is still a little gloomy because it has no companions by its side. The breeders looked at the distressed appearance of the little cheetah. They also frowned. It didn't take long for everyone to find one dog who also lost its mother. Kakam and accompanied this lonely little cheetah. After the little cheetah, seeing the dog immediately refreshed, it got to the glass window and looked at the dog curiously. The dog had a calm posture and showing a kind expression. Calmly watching the young life in front of it, it's like taking a little cheetah as a little baby in need of mother's care. Seeing them accepting each other harmoniously, the breeder took the dog with confidence to the little cheetah. From that day on, these two little cuties forged deep friendship. Every morning after waking up, the first thing this cheetah does is to come to the dog with a puppet toy and play with dogs. When it is tired, it will snuggle next to the dog, fall asleep in the warm embrace of the dog. When the meal time come, even the breeders do not want to disturb the happy time of the two of them. In this way, the little cheetah gradually grown up happily. However, at that time, its physical disease was getting more serious, even affected its daily life. The breeders hurriedly brought the little cheetah to hospital for treatment. It turns out that baby cheetahs are born with abnormal cartilage. The front legs of it are unable to stretch properly. If cannot be treated in time, even walking will be affected. It's not too late. Everyone was helping the little cheetah. A corrective surgery is scheduled and Bog followed the little cheetah, went into the operating room together silently, waiting for my best friend with silent companionship. Fortunately, the surgery went very smoothly. The little cheetah successfully survived the difficulties. After returning home, the dog was still there all the time, standing by the little cheetah and put on a concerned look for fear. This weak patient being hurt again with the care of the dog and the breeder, the little cheetah gradually recovered to health, took back its own wildness and speed. The breeder can't wait to bring two little cuties to the wild and enjoy the fun of running. Now the little cheetah has grown into a stocky adult cheetah. After spending a long time with dog, the cheetah also fell in love with the dog's favorite game of chasing puppets. The breeders also give them every once in a while a thrilling game. Many tourists would come to the scene and cheer for them. All of a sudden, the zoo is like holding a large kale sporting event. Seeing the baby cheetah fully recovered, breeders were also starting to consider sending it back to life in nature. So they took his dog friends away, trained the cheetah with wild survival skills. But after the dog left, the little cheetah shone frowning expression all the days, missing its best friend all the time. When the breeders watched it all, they shed sad tears. In the end, they took the dog back, again to the little cheetah. After seeing the dog, the little cheetah rushed up ecstatically to reunite with best friends and the dog was also enjoying the joy of being reunited at this moment. The true friendship between animals can always inspires us. This dog rescues an injured magpie. It's only half a year old, but it's covered with the radiance of motherhood. It treats the magpie as its own children, even produce breast milk for it. Mother's love is the greatest emotion in this world driven by motherly love. A mother will give her everything to her children. And animals also have this delicate emotion. The love between them can even span the species gap and convey to each other's hearts the dog in front of us is lying on the windowsill, soaking up the sun. There is a magpie lying beside it. The picture of dog and magpie living in harmony makes everyone feel warm. This dog is only half a year old. It also has a kind hostess. According to the hostess, the wonderful fate between dogs and magpies has been continued for several months. A few months ago, she took the dog and go for a walk as usual. Just as they came to the park for an outing, the dog was keenly aware of the abnormality. It took the hostess to the big tree by the roadside. There lies a dying bird. The hostess looked up at the treetops. She found a bird's nest there. The bird must have unfortunately fallen from the tree. The hostess searched around for a moment. No mother bird was found. So she took the dog and took the weak bird back home. After asking a wildlife professor, the hostess carefully helped the bird deal with the wound and provide enough food for it. And dogs didn't hurt this young life. They crooked together every day, spend full days with each other, 
There seems to have a very special way of communication. In the company of dogs, the bird recovered quickly and gradually could jump up and down. The hostess opened all the doors and windows of the house, and trying to bring it back to its natural life but the bird doesn't want to leave. It follows the dog every day, playing with dogs at home. When they are tired from playing, they will cuddle with each other to rest after some days. The dogs seem to treat birds as its own baby. It helps the birds lick their feathers intimately, and the birds learn from the dogs acting like a spoiled brat to the hostess. Gradually, a miraculous scene happened. This half-year-old dog started to produce breast milk for the bird whenever it lay on the floor with its belly exposed. The bird will come forward obediently and enjoy the loving care brought by dogs. In return, the bird would always bring with delicious bugs to express gratitude to the dog. Their wonderful friendship made the heart of the hostess have a burst of emotion. The sincere affection between small animals always touch our hearts. Outside an abandoned factory building somewhere, a stray dog is pacing back and forth anxiously. Whenever it saw a human passing by, the dog keeps turning around and wagging his tail desperately. It seems to be asking for help from humans. Its bunch of weird behavior quickly caught the attention of the staff. Everyone hurriedly followed behind the dog and came to a concrete wall. When the dog arrives at the destination, it immediately leaned down and went into the gap. After a while it came out again, another dog followed behind it dot looking at the anxious look of the two dogs. Everyone suddenly realized that under the thick wall, there must be something hiding. So they found tools and started digging. The accompanying girl also stroking the dog's cheek to soothe its emotions in this way. Soon a hole appeared in the ground. Everyone digs their heads into the pothole and find out that there are a few weak puppies nuddling here due to the chronic lack of food. Their situation is not optimistic. Attentive staff brought back blankets and gently rescued all the puppies. When the mother dog heard the baby's voice, it immediately came over with concern but it chose to trust the staff instead of interfering with everyone's rescue work. Finally, after a series of efforts, the staff successfully brought the dog to the family back to the rescue center for treatment. The paramedics helped dogs did full body examination careful. Fortunately, their bodies are not in serious trouble. Just because of the long-term wandering life, they got some malnutrition. The mother dog eyes wide open and look carefully at the people in front of it. It seems to be expressing gratitude to them, while the puppies are carefree lying beside mother and enjoying this hard-won happiness. We believe that, with the help of kind people, the dogs will get a happier life. This is a robust chimpanzee, but in its arms, there is a little cat. The orangutan gently picks up the kitten, as if it is treating its own child, and the kitten is not afraid of this behemoth at all and play freely on its generous body. What kind of relationship is between the orangutan and cat? The protagonist of the story is female western lowland gorilla from San Francisco. Her name is Coco. Coco was born in the San Francisco Zoo in 1971 in the zoo. Coco is a bona fide animal star. It was when Coco was one year old, an animal behavior researcher in the United States psychologist Francine Penny Patterson adopted it. Patterson taught Coco patiently to learn sign language used by the deaf to express itself. Coco is very smart. After two weeks, she can actively use sign language to express her needs from then on. Coco became a gorilla proficient in sign language at the age of seven. Coco also appeared on the cover of National Geographic magazine in the United States with her extraordinary wisdom. And one time when Coco was chatting with people, suddenly he used two fingers across the cheek then draw the shape of the beard. This gesture is for Francine Penny Patterson, a teacher at the Gorilla Foundation to tell that it wants a cat. Patterson wasn't surprised because over the years, she kept telling stories to Coco. And Coco's favorite story is the three kittens and the cat in boots at the beginning. Patterson chooses to give Coco some cat-shaped toys. 
but these stuffed toys aren't enough for Coco just at this time. Zustaf adopted her poor stray cats. Patterson brought these kittens to Coco, and Coco chose a grey little tomcat without a tail. At the beginning, Patterson's also very worried. After all, Coco might just be on a wing compared to a robust chimpanzee. A little stray cat is too fragile even with a little effort. It's possible that the cat will be crushed. But unexpectedly, Coco not only gently hugs the kitten in his arms like holding his own child. It is even gave the kitten a name, Paul. How Coco treats Ballet is just like other gorillas treat their babies. It will hold Ball in its lap to feed it and tickle it. She even put a napkin over Ball's head to dress it up. And Coco seems to know how much strength he has. While playing with the ball, her action is very gentle even Ball sometimes bites Coco impatiently. Coco won't be angry either. When Patterson asked Coco, does she love Ball or not? Coco said in sign language the ball is soft, and other words such as like. But unfortunately, the friendship between Coco and Kyuku soon ended. The winter after Coco adopted a kitten, kitten runs out of gorilla enclosure, and hidden by a car. The staff caring Coco says, it is evident from the grief it expresses in sign language, and its cries that it's extremely sad. Gorillas are just like humans, time can heal its deep pain. In its heart, there is always room to care about other lives. Soon, the staff find two more kittens, who have lost their mother to Coco. Coco's maternal instinct is also awakened. The tenderness shown by Coco, when she faces animals different from it, once again moved everyone who takes care of it after this. Coco treats these two kittens as her own children. Kitten is naughty. But Coco gave them the most patient care, and the best maternal love like taking care of its own child. The kitten even climbs on Coco's head, but Coco is also very gentle to accept she never drive away kittens viciously. Kittens all love this mom. They often run up to their mothers to act like a spoiled child mother love is regardless of race. This is a pure feelings that are not affected by anything. The African lion kept in the Russian wildlife park gave birth to two cubs, but it was not the mother lion who was feeding the two cubs, but a dog. This dog is actually feeding two lions, what is going on? If there is the greatest love in the world, there is nothing greater than the love of a mother. But not all mothers are competent, and sometimes they would do things that are unbelievable and incomprehensible. Today is the story of two lion cubs and a dog. It happened in a wildlife park in Russia, where a lioness was kept, and some time ago it got pregnant. The interesting thing about lions is not only that they are herd-living felines, they are also unique when it comes to parenting, such as in the case of giving birth. When lionesses find themselves are about to giving birth, they will leave the pride to find a secluded place to hide. By the time the staff found out, the lioness had already given birth to two lion cubs. The entire zoo was in a joyful mood, but by the next night the keeper noticed something was wrong. The two lion cubs barked all night long. The keeper immediately took the lion cubs out and found that the reason they were screaming was because they hadn't eaten and were hungry. But obviously the mother lion was there, how could they not drink milk? It turned out that the mother lion may not be ready to be a mother. It simply did not want to feed, just quietly watching, and did nothing. If the keeper hadn't noticed the abnormality that night, I'm afraid the two lion cubs would have been in bad shape. But what they didn't understand was why the lioness wouldn't feed them. Now they could just feed them milk powder, but it could not always like this, after all, breast milk could ensure the normal growth of the lion cubs. The keeper at first thought of a way, putting the lion cubs at the female lion's side. But as soon as the keeper left, the lioness would push the cub to the side. This method did not work, and the keeper sent the lion cubs to another lioness in the same park to feed. But he didn't expect the lioness to show its mother nature at this time, and fought directly with the other lioness. 
both of them almost to be seriously injured. Finally a keeper came up with an idea, he said his friend's family had a German shepherd, why not take the German shepherd to feed the lion cubs? After all, dog's milk was also close to the lions. They didn't expect this solution really worked. When the friend sent the German shepherd to the zoo, because this German shepherd also just gave birth to eight puppies soon, so when the dog with plenty of milk saw the two poor lion cubs, it accepted them without hesitation. The lion cubs also did not care who the other side was. They just drank up. It seemed that they were really hungry. And the lioness also acquiesced to let the lion cubs drink dog milk, although it was somewhat hostile, it was shut in the cage, so it had no way. Although the friend's German shepherd usually did not like cats. As a foster parent to take care of two lion cubs, it did not seem to resist this. The staff said few dogs would take care of wildlife cubs like this. With the help of the mother dog, the two lion cubs were kept alive. The lion cubs had no problem drinking dog's milk, which contained all the nutrients needed for normal development. So the German Shepherd mother and the puppies were living in the wildlife park, as for some people said why not giving the lion cubs to the German Shepherd family. That was because the lioness was not willing. Although it was not willing to breastfeed, it also could not lose the lion cubs. In the process of the German Shepherd and the lion cubs getting along, there was an interesting story during this period. The lion cubs and the puppies lived together for a long time, they liked to imitate each other. Sometimes people had the illusion that this was a dog or a lion. But such a harmonious day could not go on forever, after all, it was a lion, it still had a wild nature. When the lion cubs were weaned, the friend took the German shepherd back. And when the lion cubs returned to the lioness, there were no problems between them. The mother lion looked like a loving mother, accompanying the lion cubs every day, who could believe that it had never fed the cubs a mouthful of milk. Thanks to the lion's nanny, German Shepherd. In the future, it could be proud to say that it had fed lion. The king of all animals. But after the mother dog left, the staff still clearly felt the two lion cubs unhappy for a period of time. As the lion cubs grew stronger day by day, the staff secretly prepared a surprise to arrange the lion cubs and the mother dog meet each other. This day, the two lion cubs were still lying on the ground in the sun, the staff came over from the side of the German shepherd. Seeing the dog mother coming across, the lion cubs sat up at once. After determining that it was really the dog mother who was feeding them, they no longer hesitated and ran towards the dog mother, using their heads to rub the dog mother and pamper it. The meeting was always brief, and probably because they missed their dog mother too much, they tried to go up and stop the German shepherd when the staff was about to take it away. They ended up rubbing their furry little heads against their dog mother and licking it a few times, making purring noises as if to express their gratitude to it. The staff said that from their eyes you could see how much they did not want to let go of their dog mother. Perhaps the bond between the lion and the dog was really deep. In another place there were also dogs feeding lion cubs quietly happening. The rare white lion cub born in a German safari park was so unfortunate that it was born when the mother lion suffered from an umbilical cord infection. And in order to treat it, the zoo had to separate the newborn cub from the mother lion after it gave birth. It was hard to wait until the mother lion's body recovered, and the staff tried to put the lion cub back. But the mother lion seemed to have given up on raising its child and completely ignored the lion cubs that were still nursing. The lion cubs had no choice but to be raised by the keepers themselves. The staff had to find a new mother for the lion cub. The dog that had just given birth had plenty of milk, 
so the staff brought the dog to meet the lion cubs. The mother, who met with the three-week-old white lion cubs, was very caring and patient, so the lion cubs quickly bonded with it. After all, the white lion cubs were still young and at the time of mischief. It pestered the dog mother, jumping on its head, scratching and biting. But I don't know if the dog mother thought this was something its child would do, it still chose to put up with it and then guarded the lion cub with love. If the lion cubs were in danger, the dog mother would immediately take action, which was different from its meek and gentle personality as usual. Many people, when they see a white lion, they will assume that this lion is sick. The white lion is not an albino, but a white variant of the lion. And their habitat number is only about 300 in the world, which is a rare species. White lions are rare because of their white characteristics, wearing white fur, white lions are easy to be found by the enemy in the hunt, so they are difficult to find food. There are many white lions was starved to death because no food. Fortunately, this white lion cub met its dog mother who was willing to take care of it and found a dog that it could rely on to survive. In long-term companionship, it is possible to reach a tacit understanding between human and animal, and between animal and animal, if each other keeps trying to communicate in various ways. Pets do not have moral or ethical concepts, and in their eyes there is no difference between species. It does matter that the species are different, but what kind of relationship between them is important. And the definition of kinship is never based on blood. There is a strange pair of mother and son in the zoo, the one who is snuggling in mother cat's arms and suckling. It's a squirrel, what's going on here? Four baby squirrels were adopted in safari when they were brought to the zoo. These few little guys are only four weeks old, their eyes haven't opened yet. However, their mother was missing. The admin knows that such little squirrels, without mother's feeding, they may die prematurely. When think about this, admins are in trouble. At this time, a cat named Pusher appeared just in time, solved the problems of administrators. This cat was living in a nearby park. She just recently gave birth to a litter of kittens, and be a cat mom. The admins tried to get Pusher to feed the four poor little ones. The result was better than everyone expected. At first, the four little squirrels were a little afraid of the stepmother dot they cautiously not approaching, but soon, they built trust in Pusher jumping and jumping around it. Pusher also treats the four baby squirrels as her own children feed and care for them. They were like having common language get along very well. These abandoned squirrels start enjoying a new life with new MMS and siblings. They sleep, eat and play together like a real family and this family of kittens. Squirrels proves to us that love knows no race. The same heartwarming story also happened in Vladivostok in southeastern Russia. A mother hedgehog in the zoo died unexpectedly after giving birth and left eight baby hedgehogs waiting to be fed. Eight little guys haven't opened their eyes yet. If they could not get treatment in time, their situation will be very dangerous. But the zoo doesn't have a nursing mother hedgehog. This is so frustrating for the breeders. The bad things come in succession. Keepers try to feed them with bottles and syringes, but the little hedgehogs don't accept this feeding method at all. Breeders are anxious but helpless. They can only watch these little guys starve. At this time, someone came up with a good way, a new mother of a different species can be found for a few hedgehogs. That's it, they found the kitten Nush brought Mercia to the little hedgehogs. At first, little hedgehogs still don't know who the behemoth in front of them is. But when they approached Mush and felt the warmth and breast milk smell on it, the little guys immediately understood what to do. The good news is, Mercia also immediately understood what was expected of it. It voluntarily lay down. At that time, little hedgehogs are finally starting to eat. Nusha's cross species love rescues a few little hedgehogs. It also allows us to see the harmony of love among animals. As long as there is love, two people who are not related by blood can be the closest family, 